Hey there everybody, in this episode we're going to try to make a wheel for the side of the train. So we're going to start by hitting create and document and you're going to start with titling it wheel and then throw your initials on there so we know which team member did it. We are going to do a profile of the wheel uh, and revolve it around. So what we're going to do is start by hitting sketch and starting on the top view and then grabbing the line tool and starting at the origin and going straight up. It doesn't really matter the distance, go ahead and hit escape on there. Then we are going to do, and I kind of mentioned this, a profile of the wheel. So starting on this axis right here, I'm going to draw it up and you'll notice I'm not connecting it to this right here. I'm gonna go to the left, I'm gonna go down to the right a little bit, back to the right, um, down, and back to the origin. We want to make sure we have right angles on all of those. So I'm going to go here to the um, constraints, and I'm going to hit perpendicular, and make sure that like these are all perpendicular, and they should be. Um, the other thing you want to make sure is some of these lines are equal. So if I find my equals constraint, there it is, equals, I want this and this to be equal, and I want this outside edge and this outside edge to be equal. Now let's start adding some dimensions. So this is why we wanted to make the wheel. The wheel is going to revolve around, um, and we're going to, like, we're going to grab the um, revolve tool and then it's going to circle around and you're going to have like a wheel. But that's not the wheel we want. So let's get back into sketch one and grab a dimension. And now we want to make sure <clears throat> everything is dimensioned correctly. So from this vertical line to this line, we want uh, that to be. 0.28 divided by 2. Whoa, that got really small. Let's just zoom in. Alright, this next line there to this is this is our center point. Um, we want that to be 0.25. This line to our center point, we want that to be 0.75 and then finally we want the here to here to be one okay so i think that's right yeah that looks right now let's work on the height here so we want this distance here to be 0.25 and we want this distance to this distance to be like half of that, so 0.125. All right, and let's grab a circle and go to the center of this line on the far left. Um, you'll find the center by just hovering over it, and then this like orange um, block comes up, and I'm gonna click the center of that and then go to the outside. And so now we have a circle, that is right started right in the middle of that and i'm going to grab my trim tool and i'm going to trim away here here and here so we've got that and now we're going to finish the sketch by hitting the green checkbox revolve this solid along this axis so i'm clicking on axis and i'm clicking on this and i'm hitting the green checkbox and that's the wheel or at least part of the wheel we want to use grab the um fillet tool right here so we want our radius of the fillet to be point um zero point zero six two five I'm going to do it on this edge, then this inside edge, and then this inside edge of this circle, and this outside edge 
of the circle and hit the green checkbox. So now we've got something looking smooth. And now we want to uh, create some spokes. So I'm clicking the front view and I'm going to create a sketch right on the front here. I'm going to grab a line tool. I'm going to start at the origin and go straight up and hit escape. I'm going to grab the line tool again by hitting L and I'm going to make uh, a line that goes up to the left as an angle and up to the right as an angle. And I want a dimension from here to this angle. So we've always done dimensioning as distances. You can actually also, you can also do angles. So we want that angle to be 15 degrees and we want this angle to be another 15 degrees. I'm gonna grab a circle, start in the origin, start in the middle. And we want the size of this circle to be um, 0.625. Wait, that doesn't look right. That does not look right. Um, let's do... Oh, I know why it doesn't look right. 0. 0.625 times 2, because the directions say R for radius, and we are figuring out the diameter. And let's do the circle here, and start here, and we want this distance to be 0. 0.375 times 2. Oh, that looks good. And grab the trim tool, and we want to trim away here, here, and we only want this piece of the pie. So we're going to trim that away. We're going to trim here, here. So I want this section, this small piece of the pie, the bite of the pie. Hit the green checkbox. And I'm going to angle it and zoom back in and grab the extrude. Click on that, we want to remove, and we want to, through all, hit the green checkbox. Let's add some spokes by doing a circular pattern. So I'm going to hit the down arrow here and find circular pattern. I want to click on the extrude that I just made. Oh, here's what I want to do. I always forget this part. Hit the down arrow and hit featured pattern. And we want this feature, we want this extrude. The axis we want to pattern around is actually any of the circles. And we want six of those. Hit the green checkbox, and we're almost there. With the front view, we need to add a circle right over here. So let's grab a sketch, click on uh, right here where you can kind of see, hey, it's kind of curved here. Uh, or it's circular here. Let's click on that and grab a circle. And we want to draw a circle right here on this line, uh, not too big. So we want the dimension of that circle um, to be 0.25. Oh, it jumped out there. And let's locate it. Maybe I should have located it first. We'll find out. Um, I'm going to hit dimension, and I have the center of this to the center of this. I want that distance. Um, how far away do I want that to be? 0.7. Yep. Click the green checkbox. And we want to extrude that and that. So we want that circle to be extruded 0.375. Green checkbox. And we, this is the section, this is the part where the linkage arm is going to connect to. So we got to sketch again right on top of that. 
you got to make a small circle. So I'm clicking circle. I'm going to the middle of that. Run a small circle. And now let's dimension that small circle. Maybe, um, 0.125 and in checkbox that extrude that little part to be 0.125 looks right so far and now we want to put a little tiny hole in there so Let's grab a sketch, click on there, grab a point. This should be the last thing we do. We want to put a point right in the center of that because we want to grab pull, click on the point you just did, and then we want that hole to be the width of 0 0.0625, and we want the depth of that hole to be 0.25. Click the green checkbox. You now have a wheel for your train project all done. Um, oh, shoot, I forgot one more thing. We forgot to make it plastic. So, right click on here, go to um, Assign Material, and we want to make this ABS plastic. Click on that, click the green checkbox. Now you're done. Feel free to make it any color you want. Um, also, feel free to turn off the different views, and it looks great. Good job. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.